tremendous yes. chance of winning his third national. He jumps it clear of Kurt Stoneboy. He's getting the most tremendous cheer from the crowd. They're willing him home now. And he's coming up to the line to win it like a fresh horse in great style. His hat's off and a tremendous reception. You've never heard my like it at Liverpool. Redrum wins the national. And in our lead studio, Redrum's jockey, Mr Tommy Stack. Well, Tommy, we reckon we've got a real tonic for you down here in London, and I'm going to ask everybody in this new London theatre here, will you please put your hands together and welcome the maestro himself, Red Rub. Well, Ginger McCain is well, if we can see you behind those. Could you get him to back off just a little bit, Ginger? Yeah, Could you back him? Definitely. Definitely. Well, it's a delight to have you both with us. I must say, that was incredible. The lights, the noise, the applause, and yet he walks on like a true professional on the stage, doesn't he? Well, that's what it is, Frank, and he thinks, of, you know, he's been listening to the applause in the back and thought it was all for him all the time. <laughs> He seems very much aware of what's going on, doesn't he? Oh, he's very much aware of it, you know, and thinks he's entitled to all this. <laughs> so, so he likes the bright lights and the crowds? I think he does, you know, he's a horse that's been at the game a long time. He is a very professional horse, and I think he, he knows that people do appreciate him, and he enjoys people. Can I ask you about his life? Because when he's not winning Grand Nationals, which he does with great regularity, he's very much the television personality, isn't he? I mean, he opens things and he, he makes appearances. What sort of thing do you get him asked to do? Well, he's done most things this summer, actually. Um, it's a little bit interrupted being out of grass. He's switched on Blackpool lights, you know. He's uh, opened hypermarkets, pubs, cricket clubs. Um, hasn't started drinking yet. <laughs> but, uh, oh, he's done tremendous, all sorts of things, actually. Done, And I think, actually... You know, he does. He really enjoys it. It's um, it's quite a thing. He likes seeing people. He likes doing all these. Well, to come in here tonight. Yeah. But he did hear that Lester Pickett was in here, and he managed to get him beat one day. So I thought he'd come and see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, let's try something. Tommy, you're you're in Leeds. I don't know what what you say to Red Rum. Do you talk to him, whistle to him, <gasps> give him a shout? I don't. I don't know what to say to him, Frank. He's much more intelligent than I am. <laughs> so <laughs> what I could say to him wouldn't. Uh, you know. <laughs> I think he can hear, he's pricking his lugs up. I think he hears something different. <laughs> he said, I've met that fellow before someplace. 